What's happening out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a dope solo money glitch video. Probably the best money glitch we have still working today. It is the apartments transfer along with the CEO offices transfer glitch using SP to MP, which was found by Shift Team. So shout out to you, Shift Team. Now, the thing you need to know about this glitch is it's one of the best because you're trading in properties to get money. That that is actually tracked and normal, you know, purchasing and transactions and money like that cannot be wiped. It's not like the orbital cannon glitch. It's not like anything like that. OK, so this is the best money. You don't have to worry about a daily sell limit. You know, you don't have to sell cars. It's money straight into your bank and it's about one point five million uh, your first, you know, 10, 15 minutes doing the glitch and then it's 2.5 million your next 15 minutes doing the glitch so you can make a lot of money you can make upwards of three and a half million dollars uh pretty much every single 30 minutes okay so this is what you're gonna need to start off with this glitch there is a little bit of startup money but the startup money is okay all right like it, it's well well worth it let me tell you so go to your main character the one you do not want to lose the outfits on all right you're gonna go ahead and go over to your you know to your apartments and you want to go ahead and purchase the three most expensive apartments and slots four five and six all right as you can see right there all the eclipse penthouse suites all of them four five and six those are the slots you want those will those are the slots that will transfer over to your other character all right we're going to be transferring the prices over so that we can make money off trading the properties in so once you've done that we're going to be including the ceo offices in this one i didn't show this in my last video i did it in a live stream but not in the video so then at this point you actually want to buy May's Bank Tower if you don't have it already. All right, May's Bank Tower is pricey, but trust me, do this glitch enough and you will be making your money back. It is a very very good glitch, definitely one of the best glitches we have in GTA, you know, period whenever we get it back. So at this point once you've gotten your main character set up, you're going to go to swap character, all right? Now select your second character, which is our female in this case, all right? So doing it doing the glitch this way we're not going to lose any outfits or anything on the main character that's why i recommend doing it this way so now, now that we're on our second character you want to go ahead and set up the apartments on this one so the apartments right here you want to buy the three cheapest properties actually um they're not really apartments they're just garages but you want to buy the three cheapest properties in slots four five and six like like you can see right there as cheap as they can be 13,000 14,000 12,000 those were the cheapest ones i can find basically okay so slots four, five, and six on your second character. Those are the cheap properties that you want right there. Now, once you've done that, you need to set up the CEO offices now, okay? So the CEO office that you actually want for your second character is actually Maze Bank West, which is the cheapest one. So as you can see, I actually had Arcadius right now because I was doing the glitch previous, but I wanted to start it all over to show you guys. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and buy Maze Bank West. So there is a bit of startup money, you know, like you got to buy some CEO offices. You got to buy some apartments. But in the end, you will be making your money back, you know, tenfold. All right. It is well, well worth it. So I went ahead and I purchased Maze Bank Tower. And there we go. So I do have everything set up at the moment. I just wanted to show you guys. So Maze Bank West. OK, I think I said Tower before I meant Maze Bank West. All right. So second character, Maze Bank West first character maze bank tower okay so now you want to simply just leave gta online from your second character it must be from your second character guys a lot of people are screwing up on which character to leave gta on and which character character to select you know when you get to the uh the glitch part all right so now that we've left gta online from our second character i recommend having a saved game in front of one of the peyotes okay i will leave a link in the description uh for all and the pinned comment for all the peyote locations all right but you'll see right here where i actually load in as trevor i've had this since this glitch started i opened up my phone and made a game save right here in front of a peyote so i can always load this game save all right it's a really good idea so xbox we need to go ahead and change our targeting mode you need a friend in a different targeting mode to do this glitch playstation you guys just need to use a recent activity so right now i'm in free aim my friends in assisted aim i'm gonna go ahead and get four stars using the cheat I'll put the cheat down there in the pin comment as well. So now, uh, don't worry about that autosave. Just go ahead and eat the peyote. This is the location of the peyote that I am eating, okay? So I'm going to go and eat, eat the peyote. And like I said, make sure you do not accept that autosave. Just deny any autosaves and stuff so that you don't save over it. You can always go back to this same peyote. Now, 
Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and turn into just some sort of animal. Okay, so we've turned into this animal right here. It's a little dog. Uh, now make sure you're still in free game, Xbox guys. PlayStation, you guys are just waiting for a recent activity. Xbox, we have to go ahead and join up a friend. You can do it through the start menu or the gamer card, Xbox dashboard. Either one will work. You'll get a save icon on the bottom right and then it'll load session details. And then accept the first alert, sit on the second alert, all right? So we're sitting on the second alert. The dog just died. I'm accepting that alert, and then I'm going and con and hitting go offline. Okay, so accept that alert and hit go offline. PlayStation, you guys, right when you die, you're actually going straight to your recent activity, and you're accepting that. Okay, Xbox, just go ahead and accept all those alerts, uh, and then once you're once you've done that, you should be hit with like a white screen. Go back online. PlayStation, same thing. You guys have to go back online as well. All right. So now if done correctly, you should be spawning back down as your SP character and you'll have a white screen. If you wanna see what's going on, all you gotta do is press pause. All right, so just go ahead and press pause just like that, like you see me doing there. And once you've pressed pause and you notice that you know, you're good to go, if you spawn inside Michael's house or Franklin's house or anything like that, you can still get cops on you in here. So that's what I'm gonna do. But first, I need to change my targeting mode again because I'm on Xbox. So I need to go in free aim because my friend is in assisted aim. All right, and at this point, I'm putting in the cheat to get stars. It's RB, RB, B, right trigger, left, right, left, right, left, right on Xbox. Okay, so I'm just getting one star, and now I'm going to go ahead and join my friend that's in a different targeting mode. Now, you should see the save icon at the bottom right, and then you're going to see the details load up. Accept the first alert, sit on the second alert, just like that. So now I'm just waiting. I'm going to fast forward, and I'm just waiting right now for the cops to come in. I only got one star, so the cops are going to arrest me. So check it out. Just listen. Right there, right when I heard that noise where I got busted, I accepted that alert, and now we're gonna go and head into online. PlayStation, right when you guys hear that noise, you can either get busted or get killed, but right when you hear that noise, you are going straight to that recent activity and accepting the alert. All right, so now, if done correctly, you should spawn online as your SP character. If you're still on a white screen in online, you can go straight to swap character and actually go and select your, your opposite character, but, if you're online just like this as another character, you need to buy or you need to go eat another peyote. So I'm gonna go buy the Los Santos Customs in the south and eat this peyote. Hit right D-pad. You're gonna feel the controller vibrate, and that's it. You're not gonna see an animation or anything. Now go ahead and go to swap character. So we're getting to swap character now. And remember, the female was the last one we had online. You know, my second character. So we're gonna be selecting the first character because we want all those apartments and outfits to transfer over. So Right now, as you can see, I'm selecting the main character. If done correctly, you're gonna be put on this loading screen. It'll take about a minute to get through this right here. I'm just fast forwarding to make it quicker. Uh, you're gonna time out, just like this. So I've timed out, just you know, select A or X to continue. Right now, you see how the screen is kind of frozen? Wait for this to unfreeze. Wait for the clouds to start moving and you know, and the whole camera angle to just start like shifting. Once that happens, PlayStation and Xbox, you're free to just close the game. So close your app. PlayStation, just go ahead and restart the app now. Xbox, first, before we restart, we have to press start on GTA, go to manage game, save data, go to your gamer tag, and hit delete from console. Not from cloud, delete from console. Restart GTA. Now, PlayStation holding L1 and R1 right now. Xbox, we just cancel and stop the sync. And then we're both gonna be getting hit with this display, display calibration screen. X or PlayStation, you're still holding L1 and R1 right now. Just keep holding it. Okay, just keep those uh, you know triggers down. Now we're all here. We're getting this display calibration. PlayStation, you guys can let go of L1 and R1. You're gonna load into story mode. Just go ahead and go into an invite only session. Xbox, for most of us, we're gonna hit this prologue. Once you've hit the prologue, go ahead and quit GTA again and restart the app completely. This time we're gonna let it sync, but it's gonna ask us where do you want to sync from. We're going to select from this console, okay? So this time, let it fully sync, always from the console. We're deleting from the console, we're syncing from the console, Xbox guys, okay? So now PS4 and Xbox, we're both in the same, you know, point at, uh, here. We're in story, go ahead and go into an invite-only session, all right? We're both going to get hit with this game's policies, all right? You have to accept all these game policies and just hit submit. Once you've done that, we're going to begin loading online, all right? So... Right now, I'm online as my female, my second character, because that's who I was. So I'm opening up Dynasty 8. I'm going to go ahead and buy the cheapest properties over slots 4, 5, and 6. Look at that. I have the cheap names, but the expensive prices 
transferred over from my other character. That's a success. So now you buy over one of them, $524,000 I just made right there. Buy another cheap property, buy it over slot five. I just made $425,000 there. And then we're gonna be buying one more cheap property over slot six. So here's a cheap one, buy it over slot six. And now I'm getting $463,000. So just like that, you've made 1.5 million. And then this first time around, you need to go over to Dynasty 8 Executive and you need to actually purchase Arcadius. Now you're gonna lose, you know, a bit of money on this one, but it's only the first time. So you see, I'm gonna buy Arcadius. I'm actually gonna lose $250,000. That's okay. You're gonna make it all back plus way more on the next round, okay? So 250 grand there. To rinse and repeat the glitch, you need to go ahead and from this character, just go to leave GTA online, load up your game save and story mode, and just do the whole peyote trick again. All right, just do that all over again. So I've done everything. I'm buying cheap apartments over expensive ones again. This is the second time around. And then look, I'm gonna go to Dynasty 8, Executive, and now I'm gonna purchase Maze Bank Tower, or Maze Bank West, sorry. So you see I have Arcadius from the last one. I'm gonna purchase Maze Bank West and check it out. I'm actually gonna gain $1 million from this purchase buy go ahead and trade it in and accept that and there we go one million dollars so one and a half million dollars the first round two and a half million dollars the second round that is not bad guys all right that is great great money you will be making a crap ton of money using this glitch just like that like i said in the beginning of the video uh, one and a half million your first round, two and a half million your second round, and just keep doing that over and over and over again, all right? Four million dollars every 30 minutes, basically. All right, so that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that red subscribe button, turn on post notifications, drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.